France. The forehand jot shot can look like a clear or a smash, but it's hit much more softly. The clue is in the sound. Pull your opponents out of position and you are in charge of the rally. The drop shot is hit from your rear court into the opponent's forecourt. It brings them forward, leaving space at the back that you can exploit. The drop shot is used in singles and doubles, and when played well, it's a great way to pressure your opponent's movement skills. Really good players disguise the drop shot, making it even harder to return. Start with a split step, landing just after your opponent's hit. Begin to elevate the forearm and take the racket back with the face downwards using a relaxed forehand grip. Create a position with the shoulder and elbows in a line, looking over the front arm. Use a wide, side-on stance and push off with the rear leg to drive the hip upwards and forwards. The body rotates forwards to the hit, which is above the shoulder, with the racket face parallel to the net. With the clear, the elbow isn't locked out and there is an angle between the racket and the forearm. After impact, the racket arm relaxes off and pronation continues as a result of racket head momentum. Good players can add slice and hit cross-court to really pressure the opponent. I'd say to enjoy it. If, you, if you're not enjoying it, then you don't perform to your best abil of your ability. So um, I would say, you know, I've enjoyed it all along, really. Yeah, there's been a few bad, you know, bad spells where you're not playing so well, but at the end of the day, I just enjoy it.